Hi everyone, welcome to the Happy Place to Grow where we are working together to grow our reading skills. I'm Mrs. Davis and I'm so glad you are joining me. You know, it's really important to practice and work on our reading skills and use strategies, tools to help us become really solid and excellent readers. So we've been working together lately on letters, sounds, putting those letter sounds together to build and read words. Our strategy, the first strategy we've been really working on is taking each individual sound and we call it tap it out or sound it out, beginning, middle, and or beginning, middle, and, right? And now we're also using this strategy where we're looking at the rhyme, the vowel and the end, we're thinking about patterns so that when we see a beginning sound with this pattern, and then we see a new beginning sound with the same pattern, we can quickly remind ourselves of this rhyme at, for instance, the rhyme that's up here, and put it with the beginning sound and read words quickly. And in no time at all, we are on our way to reading success. So in session five, we've covered so far one rhyming family with the star of session five, short E. We've been working with the short vowels and now we're focusing on short E. Do you remember what short E says? Yeah, that's right. Eh. So we've taken a eh with the letter N. And in our last lesson, we created the N rhyming family and we used different beginning sounds. You were really excellent on that. We also, in our last session, were working on some common words that are words we see in a lot of stories. Some of these common words are words that can be sounded out. And then some of them, as you learn more letter patterns and teams, then you can sound them out. But right now they might just be words that you see and know. Some people call them sight words because you see them and know them. They're just words that are in a lot of stories that we're reading as early readers. So let's review those words first, and then we're gonna be building. We've got our work cut out for us. Look at all the beginning sounds for this at rhyming family, but we can do it. There's a lot of members. This is a very big family, a fun one, I think, too. Let's review our common words because we're gonna see those again later on when we do our word sort, our spell check, and then our story. So one of the words we were getting familiar with was the word, do you remember? It's the word our. Our, it means it belongs to you and a group that's with you. So like our family, our family is going on vacation you and your family, our, a collection, a group, but you're included in that. And then the word her, her, I like her new bike, her. This is a cool one because it has the short E sound. It is one that you could tap out. You see it in a lot of stories and you want somebody to say this to you when you want some ice cream or cookies or you want to go somewhere. Y-E-S, yes. It's the opposite of no. And then she, which we recognize the S-H, sh, and then 
E, she, she is my teacher. Do, do you like my new hairdo? What did you do yesterday? So it can, if it starts the sentence, it's going to be turn the sentence into a question. If it's in the middle, then it's just a telling sentence. And then finally, we. So you and someone else or an, a group. We will go to the store. You and two, three, four, one other person. So we. Those were our common words. We are just brushing up on those. We want to see those because we're going to be using them again. All right. Let's get building because <laughs> this is a ginormous family. We're going to be thinking about the middle sound a eh, and the ending sound t. Eh, t. That's our rhyme. That is our rhyme. So we're going to be using all of these beginning sounds. There's quite a few. Should we review them quickly? Let's do that right quick. We're going to use this beginning sound b, b, with at, g, g, with at. We don't often use this beginning sound, so I'm kind of glad about this one. It's the letter J. J says what? J, J. And then L, O. M, mm. You can say these sounds with me at home. It's good to practice. You know that. N, N, mm. P, P, S, S. Ooh, I love this letter. V. Oh, oh. W, oh, oh. and then here's one we don't use often. Why? Oh, it's going to be really fun. We've got this. We're going to build, tap out, and read this collection of at words. Let's get going. I'm looking around. Here it is. I need my pointer. Okay, here we go. Let's start with this beginning sound. Got three letters and three sounds. That makes this one easy. Beginning, middle, and end. Now at home, you're tapping out those sounds or tap, 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 beginning, middle, end, or point, point, point. You can be the teacher too. You can get a stick if you want and point to these letters. You can do that, that's fun. Pointing just helps you think about each individual sound. And that's what we're doing. We're practicing those sounds, blending those sounds, and then saying it as a whole word. Okay, here we go. B, E, T. Let's do it one more time. B, E, T. All right, now let's blend those together. Slowly. Bat. Bat. All right, let's say it fast. Ready, set, bet. Say it fast on your own. Ready, set, yeah, bat. I bet you were able to sound that word out correctly using each sound, and you were able to read it. I bet you were. All right, next sound, g, plus at. Here we go. Tap, tap, tap. Ready? Do it with me. G, a. Eh. Got to drop that jaw for the shorty. A, eh. t. Do it again. G, a, eh. t. 
Now let's blend it really slow. Gat. I hear all the sounds, but they're just kind of running together. I'll say it fast. Ready, set, get. Now you do it. Yeah, it's get. Did you get a new toy at the store? I didn't. <laughs> get. When will we get there? Said the children. They were ready to get somewhere. Ooh, this is a good one. Let's take J plus the rhyme at. Mm -hmm. Let's sound it out. Beginning, middle, end. J, E, T. Now you do each sound at home. Let's blend J, E, T. J, -e T. Good. One more time. J, -e T. Say it fast. Jet. Hmm, my stick didn't want to go that fast. Let's say it fast again. Ready, set, jet. A jet is a very fast aircraft. The jet was zooming across the sky. Jet. Oh, let's get o plus at. Let's tap it out together. O at. Come on, let's do it. O at. Now you do it at home. Let's blend it slowly. Let. Let. Say it fast. Let. Let. My mom let me stay up late and watch a movie with her. Let. Did you let your dog out today? Let. Mmm, here's a good one. Mmm, plus at. This is the rhyme. There are also three individual sounds. There's the rhyme. Let's put the beginning there. Here we go. Mmm, at. Do it again. Mm, at. Are you dropping that jaw? Me, eh, eh. Let's say it slow. Met. Now you say it slow at home. Yeah, you can do it. Let's say it fast. Ready, set, met. One more time. Met. I met my friend at the library. And we checked out some good books. Met. Mm. I just happen to have my trusty one of these. <laughs> Let's take this beginning sound with this rhyme, but we're also thinking about individual sounds. Let's sound it out. Mmm. At. Let's do it again. Mm. At. Now let's slide net together. Ready? Net. Now you do it at home. Say it fast with me. Net. One more time. Net. I bet with my net, I can get those things yet. Sounds like a Dr. Seuss rhyme. Net. Phew, we've done one, two, three, four, five, six. Huh, we're up to number seven. Beginning sound P plus at. Let's sound it out. P at. Now you do it at home. Did you drop that jaw? Eh. Uh, 
Good. Let's blend those three sounds together. Pet. One more time. Pet. Oops. I didn't do it with you, but you'll be fine without me. Let's say it fast together. Ready, set, pet. Ready, set, pet. I have a pet turtle, which I really do. What kind of pet do you have? Usually a pet is an animal that's tame and it lives at a person's house. Uh huh. Or pet can be, and we've talked about this before, some words can be actions and some words can be um, things and something, sometimes words can be both. In this case, the word pet can be an animal that's tame that lives at people's houses or it could be an action. It's not this motion, because that would be a, a pat, but you could pet, you know, like if you're petting your animal's fur, sort of an action called a pet. Uh -huh. Or have you ever used it this way? A teacher's pet, like if someone in the class is favorite Sometimes people think that the teacher likes um, one person best and they call that uh, student the teacher's pet. It's not true. Teachers love all their students. Come on. I know. I was a teacher. I loved all my kids. Okay, so pet. Let's take this beginning sound, s plus a plus t, or this rhyme, at, and let's sound it out. At. Now you do it at home. Let's blend those three sounds together. Set. Super. One more time. Set. Let's say it fast. Ready. Set. Set. Huh. That's in our little countdown. Get ready on your mark. Get ready, get set, go. Get set is to get ready, right? I'm set, I'm set in place. Or if your mom puts the dishes on the table, then she will set the table for dinner. Or a set can be a group of objects. Like I have a set of two cards in my hands. So a set can be a group. Not to be confused with sat, Set means you're placing it down. I'm going to, I set this on the table or I'm setting the table for dinner. Set means you're going to go down. I sat on the ground. So they're similar and they sound similar, but you're using them when you're using, making a sentence, you're using them in a different way and not to be confused with sit, sit, sat, set. Who made that? group of words up to confuse us, but we're not going to be confused because we are getting smarter on what words mean, not even just being able to read them, but we understand how to use them too. We're awesome. Phew, we've one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight words. Now, one of my favorite letters, let's use it. We don't often get to. Mm, plus at. Let's take each individual sound and tap it out first. Mm, eh, t. Now you do it at home. Let's blend those three sounds together. That. Good. Now do it on your own. Now let's do it fast. Ready, set, vet. Hey, vet and set rhyme. Now, what do you think a vet is? You've probably heard that word. It's kind of a nickname. It's a nickname for, for an animal doctor, a veterinarian. So that's a long word. Who wants to say that all the time? So if we're just talking about the person that takes care of our animals and helps them to stay healthy, 
a doctor for animals is called a vet. Mm -hmm. That makes saying veterinarian a lot easier. Vet. And if I were a veterinarian, I would say I'm a vet. Ooh, W. Ooh. Now this word, we've talked about the WH sound, but we're not using that team in the word up here. It's got three letters, three sounds. Let's tap it out. Ooh, a, t. Do it again. Ooh, a, t. Do it on your own. Let's blend slowly. Wet. Now you do it. Excellent. Let's say it fast. Ready, set, wet. Now you do it. Ready, set. I went out in the rain and I got soaking wet. And that really happened because it's raining here. Wet. One last at word. Wow, we have done great. You're really on the ball and we're just flying through this activity because you understand how to tap it out, to blend and say it fast, and it's just getting easier, isn't it? Okay, let's take me with at. Here we go. Me at. One more time. Me at. Let's blend it. Me at. Now do it on your own. Me. I was helping you just a smidge. Now let's say it fast. Here we go. Ready, set, yet. One more time. Yet. Is the cake ready yet? Are we there yet? There used to be a commercial where the kids were in the back saying, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Driving their parents crazy. Yet, you're anticipating and you wanna know if it's time yet for something to happen. Wow, we have done such an excellent job with our, our building of the rhyming hour. Oh, I'm thinking about our word, hour, and I'm using our me and all of you. We have done our very best to build and read the at rhyming family. Super. Okay, let's review the at rhyming family. I'm going to flash you the whole word and we'll call it a day. We definitely need a break after all this work. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to flash the word. See if you can think about the beginning sound with at and say it fast at home. Bet. Get. Come on, you've got this. Ch plus at. Chet. Right. Let, mm -hmm. and if you need to tap it out, you can do that really quickly. You've got this. Met. Mm -hmm. Net. I'm giving you just a quick second to read these words. Pet, right. And now you know I have a pet turtle. Set. My mom let me help set the table for dinner. That's a good short. That's a good job. Vet takes care of the animals. Wet. And finally, are we finished yet? Yes, we are. Excellent work today. You are fantastic at this strategy of tapping out and blending and thinking about rhyming patterns. And I know that 
that you're using these strategies as you're reading stories at home and somebody is reading to you. If you get to go to the library this summer, you can be spying for rhyming words and patterns in books. It's just going to be amazing as you continue to grow in the area of reading. All right, we're going to close up this session. I want you to join me on the next session. We're still with the star of our lessons, eh, and you've got to drop that jaw, eh, and we're going to pull out the twins and we'll be building the L family. Not so many words in the L family, but yet an amazing group of words nonetheless. We'll be learning that the twins only say, oh. All right, so join me on our next reading session together. And as always, remember practice makes permanent. So keep on reading and I'll see you real soon. Thank you.